Fallout 4 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Well rested, you had a great sleep, and you feel alert and invigorated. Plus 10% experience points earned for a limited time. It is a good way to start. Hello, and welcome back to more Stephen Plays Fallout 4. Now in the last episode it was uh, Valentine's Day and we actually met Nick Valentine, which is interesting. But today we are not continuing on the main quest, we're doing something else. But before I do... I wanted to, uh, wanted to point out the fact that I adjusted some of my armor. To do. And I'm gonna do that, um, on the armor workbench, just so you can see exactly the choices that I made. Um, we do have armor one, which was, which was nice because some of the stuff that we were using still had not been upgraded at all. So I upgraded some of my stuff, like this is now alloyed, and you can see the difference there, 13 and 7, compared to a standard metal helmet, which is 9 and 4, so it's a pretty big jump. But there's still better stuff we can do with armor, too. Um, and if we look at some of the other things, like, you know, this. Uh, right now, this is armor 1, it's 814, but we could get it up to, you know, 1017 and 10. So th these would all be good things to do. Um, it's one of the reasons I've been wanting to get the next level of armor with our next perk. I've also had quite a few comments letting me know that, um... You know, another good option, and something that makes sense, is to try and find heavy or sturdy armor, or combat armor. All of these things would just be better armor. And you're right, you're absolutely right, but in the meantime, until we find those things, I think armor or two would be the next perk that we should get. I know that there's a lot of you that want to see master lockpicking. Don't get me wrong, I also want that, but I'd also like to take less damage. But since I have upgraded some stuff, maybe it'll make a big difference. And, you know, if it does make a big difference, then maybe we'll grab Master Lockpicking instead. Where are you? Piper? Piper, you're still in my bedroom. <laughs> I don't need any comments. I need any comments or fan art about that. Alright, so uh, what we're going to be doing today, um, we actually have quite a few options. But the most important thing for me right now is to actually return to Vault 114 because I missed something quite important. There was a magazine, which means we are going back to the vault. Now the question is, is Skinny Malone still going to be here? I mean, technically, he should be. Yeah, I mean, he really should be. There's no reason for the game to have despawned him, I think. But I also don't know that. Uh, maybe the game moved him, although the thing's moving around, so I think he's still here. I feel bad because he was like, you got 10 seconds to get out, and now we're like, actually, we're coming back. And there's a chance that we may have to kill him. Um, <laughs> sorry, Nick. Isn't this where Nick was trapped? I can imagine worse places to be holed up. Yeah. Trigger man. Skinny Malone. Can I pacify Skinny Malone? Because I don't think I can. And because I can't, it might be in everyone's best interest to just put the man down. Alright, Piper, get on it. Stop right there. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, that didn't work for either of them. And I don't think I can pacify Skinny Malone. Get that guy. Grenade in! Woo! Got one. That's one down. That's two down. Skinny Malone, it's just me and you. He's probably wondering why we came back. I, I actually didn't come back to kill you, believe it or not. I'm just here for a comic book. I... <laughs> oh, his head just popped off. Well, at least now I'll know what you had. Um, you had a tuxedo. <laughs> you can carry something? Do you think you could carry this? God, what do I even do with this thing? Um... Hmm. Well... I think I'm gonna put you on the sh- Can I put you on the shelf? Oh no, it won't let me do that. Can I put you like- like right here? It's beautiful, right? There. It's great! You know, we could use this as target practice if you want. Boom! Does it work? Oh, it exploded! Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Whew! It's a little concerned. Alright, let's go find that comic. Now, I'm guessing that the comic book is still there, um, and that there's no other guys around. So that's what I'm banking on right now. But I guess we'll find out. Unfortunately, I don't really remember where the comic book w was. 
I'm also hearing... I heard some noises, but I'm also pretty sure that it was a radio. I think all the triggermen in here are dead. But if not, then I guess we're going to stumble across them mighty soon. Where... was... this thing? It was this way... over there... Da -da, which... through this room, maybe? Was it through the... Here we are! There we go! Astoundingly awesome tales. You've collected an issue, gained plus five action points. The man who could stop time. Okay, um, we did it. Let's get the heck out of here. So now we are out at the back bay once again. Uh, we were here very recently. Um, the reason I've I've walked out is for one, it's the exit. But uh, I actually want to go back to Boston Common. So where is that? That is, it's east from here. So I turn left and walk. The reason I'm going back to uh, Boston Common is there was a few things in the common itself that I missed. Who is that? It's a raider. It's a level one raider. <laughs> I gotcha. I don't know if you were alone or not. Not sure. Um, yeah, there was there was a. I guess some lore stuff that we missed that we should uh, go check out. Uh, so we are going to go in there, and it's safe now. It is safe now. We're not going to get... Oh man, we hadn't even discovered the location. Good lord. So I'm just going to kind of uh, scout the perimeter first. Let's see, shotgun shells, stone, double shotgun. Kind of I'm just going to kind of look around to make sure that there's no one else here that's going to give me problems. I also never went in the Boylston Club, which, uh, might be worth checking out as well. The only thing... Can I... I can get rid of this chain. Um, I might want to find a, a chair to sit down on, because it's, um... It is night. And for my sake, and your sake as the audience, um, I definitely prefer... Oh god, there's a lot of rads. Okay, um... <laughs> guess we're gonna go ahead and don our hazmat suit. Let's put this on, that'll help a lot. Just take a little sit in the radiation here, and uh, let's do a little waiting. Oh, I can't wait here. I think it's because I'm taking rads. Crap. All right, whatever. Well, then let's look around. What do we got? Um, got a bobby pin box. Anything down that capless skull? Sure. Um, experiment log. I'm just gonna turn my light on so I can see. What does this say? Edgar Swan, day 44, or 14, day 14. My physiological evolution seems to have stabilized. The medical team says my muscle mass has more than tripled since the experiment began, and my neural efficiency has improved markedly. Uh, this particular strain of modified FEV has been a remarkable success. I appear to have received all of the anticipated benefits without the typical adverse effects. My application to join the research team is awaiting the director's approval. Although further tests may be in order, I hope to be able to assist with my own experiment in the coming days. Interesting. He did this to himself, or as a part of a team, or something. Okay, Mentats. That's you, right, Piper? Okay. Because that noise freaks me out, man. Swan's note. What's it say? You are Swan. Good note, good note. Straw pillow. Uh, Gwyneth Ale. Let's see, what else is around here? Bag of fertilizer? Sure. It's fertilizer! Uh, so we got this stuff. Compensated hardened sniper rifle. Huh. Combat armor left arm. That's combat armor. That's wonderful. That's the kind of crap we're looking for. Yes. Take. And a cooking pot. Mmm. It has copper. Compensated hardened sniper rifle. Um, we don't need this. We have a better sniper rifle. I'm sorry. Um, let me go ahead, before I forget, and put on... Oh, I can't put it on right now. I have the hazmat suit. But I need to remember to put on the combat armor because that's the kind of stuff we're looking for. Combat armor. It's good stuff. Day 21. Seizure continues after the second one this morning. I was ordered back to the observation lab for further study. My prognosis is poor. I made the discovery myself. The viral strain I was infected with is fundamentally unstable. My mental capacity peaked two days ago and has begun rapidly deteriorating. The seizures are just the beginning. Will they reject me like all the others? So, this guy was a part of some experiment, um, where they, like, he became a super mutant or something? I, like, he, 
he willingly went through with that? Which seems odd to me, but that's what I'm gathering. Oh, here's early stuff. Day one. This will explain more. So I nipped a few sigs. Big deal. Smart asses may run the place, but they can't just do whatever they want. I got rights. Trial worked out for me in the end. They agreed to probation. I stay inside for a month, write something every day, and they'll bring me all the food and water I want. They think this is punishment. Sure beats scrubbing floors all day. Okay, so he stole something. Okay, so that's how all this started. And then day six. Should have known something was wrong when they came back for more tests. Every bone in my body aches. I'm on edge all the time. Jittery, can barely write. But my mind's just racing. Damn it, what's going on? What'd they do to me? All right. So this guy was a thief. And his punishment was essentially... I mean, really, ultimately, to become a swan. So he didn't even choose this. Oh, man. I mean, I feel bad, honestly. I feel bad for swan, but... That's just kind of the way... Things worked out. I mean, he had to... He had to die. He was a menace. Bloodleaf. Um, is there anything else here? Because it was worth checking this thing out. There's also... There's a gazebo over there. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything because I, you know, I took the time to actually come back. Is there anything around here? No. Nothing on this thing. Let's walk around to the other side and see if we can find anything. And then otherwise, uh, I actually might check out the Boylston Club quickly before I leave this area, just because... I don't want- I don't want to forget about it again. Is that Protectron still around? It is. There's an X here. Which is odd. I don't want to talk to you right now, sorry. Now let's come up here. I believe there's radiation up here too. A little bit. Oh, Grognak the Barbarian. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do plus 5% damage. This guy uh, ended it for himself. Pipe pistol, skull, faceplate. I do not know exactly what I just picked up, but okay. Um, otherwise, nothing of particular interest around. Alright, I think uh, I think I got everything that was interesting over here. But uh, if you guys know of something that I missed, certainly let me know. Um, I don't mind hopping back. I think Swan was one of the more interesting characters that we've run into so far. And, uh, hearing the lore behind it, you know, the, the fact that he was just a common criminal and they turned him into this thing is, uh, is wild. Oh, God. Hi, Torbot. Or, or not. Oh, oh, it's, are you gonna be that way? Fine. Be that way. Alright, now before I forget, I need to take off this hazmat suit. <laughs> Currently wearing nothing. Uh, left arm. Military fatigues. Right arm. Right leg. Said those in reverse order. Left leg. Um, I also picked up another Vault 114 jumpsuit because I'm crazy. Metal helmet. Chest piece. Looking good. Looking fantastic. Oh, my shades! Oh, God! Not my... almost forgot. Alright, so, uh, let's run over to the Boylston Club quick. And, uh, see if there's anything of interest in there. No idea if there is or not. Uh, also, where was that raider that we killed? He was over here somewhere. Where... Was that the raider? Oh, I guess that was the raider. He just flew further than I thought he did. Alright, I don't know what's in here. But we're gonna find out. Okay. The hidden thing's not moving. I'm gonna turn this off. Still got Nancy out. This is creepy. There's actually... There's nothing in here except an elevator. Oh. I'm guessing this was, like, a really nice restaurant? Possibly? Maybe? Or... God, I don't know. Maybe... Maybe a hotel? The elevator still works, and that's creepy. Alright, Piper. I have no idea what we're getting into. This is so creepy. Super creepy, but there's nobody here. I think it's safe to stand up. From what I can tell, there's no one around. I'm gonna turn my light on. Well, if you wanted a, uh, if you wanted a pool table... Here's all the stuff needed to play. Poisoned wine! Huh! Oh, and a lamp. Give me the lamp. Poisoned wine. So is that indicative of what happened here? There's poisoned wine all over the place. Interesting. 
Huh, so maybe all of these people were poisoned. That's kind of what I'm gathering. Get the cooler back here with uh, razor grain, which I don't really need. I don't know why I picked it up. Okay, Boylston Club Terminal. This should uh, hopefully reveal something. Let's try tries. Yes. There we are. All right, let's see if we can learn a little bit more about this thing. Boylston Club membership policy. The honor of membership in the Boylston Club shall be extended to current and former presidents, vice presidents, senators, and justices of the U.S., current and former governors and lieutenant governors of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, the legitimate male heirs of members, other distinguished gentlemen or of social or intellectual worth as nominated by the membership and willing to remit an annual fee of half a million dollars. Wow. So everyone in here was like super, super rich. Or they were a member of government. Government or rich. And apparently only males. Events calendar, October. Uh, Canadian cigars, fad or fashion. Uh, members only tasting with master tobacconist, uh, which is a cool word I've never seen before, tobacconist, Richard Glazer. Uh, an evening with Lieutenant Governor Graham, seven course uh, prefix menu, dinner menu, prefix dinner to, with spirits to follow. The Red Menace, Wines of Asia, monthly tasting with uh, sommelier Lincoln uh, Thomas, special event, uh, Memoriam Gala, free food, open bar for members still able to make it, final toast at midnight, see flyer for details. Huh. Wait a minute. Wait, hold on. When did the, when did the bombs fall? Special event. It was after Halloween? No, it was before Halloween. I forget the exact date. But isn't wasn't 1030? Like hadn't they already fallen? Maybe not. I haven't Now I don't now I can't remember. Alright, someone someone tell me. Safe control and play tape. Loading holotape. It's closing time, gentlemen. Okay, in order to get subtitles, this is dumb. Uh, in order to get subtitles, I need to eject the holotape. Which I will. A toast! It's closing time, gentlemen. If any of you have changed your mind, it's time to go. James will see you out. No one. Very well. Gentlemen, it has been an honor and a privilege. Before we drink... Allow me to offer a final toast. To the world that was, mankind shall never see its like again. Okay, so that makes sense. Um, I can't, at this point, for some weird reason, I can't remember when the bombs fell. I know it was in late October, um, but that was added after. So basically they said, hey, is anyone still alive? Uh, if you are, Come here and we'll have a toast. That's why it's poisoned wine. They knew what they were doing. They knew that anarchy was going to reign and that their, um, you know, their money couldn't save them. Not in this new world. So they all drank to their death. That's super cool. This entire thing is super cool. And it's just a little extra tidbit that you don't even have to come see. All right. Very cool. All right. Let's open the safe. And, uh, find out what's inside. Now, there is safe control, but once again, we do it this way, we get the experience. Which I am a fan of, but I'm not a fan of breaking bobby pins. Oh, come on. There we go. What was in here? Got it. Ammo, ammo, a flip lighter, a muzzled rapid 10 millimeter pistol, and pre-war money. Well, if anyone could figure out a good use for it... <laughs> There's not a ton of stuff in there, but opening it gives us experience and it makes Piper like us more. Um, yeah, all these people... This is a situation where everyone knew what they were doing. It's not that anyone was... You know... Poisoned out of, uh... You know, hate or spite or anything like that. Um, it's just... I don't know what this is, I'm taking it. Uh, it's just a situation where... They knew that it was over. Their lives, as they knew it, were over. And, uh, it was in their best interest, they thought, to end it. There's a burnt fashion magazine, I guess I'll take. Cigar. Tons of bowler hats, in case you didn't have one and you're looking one for one for, uh, Codsworth for your own game. You can come over here. A lot of, uh, burnt lifestyle magazine. There's all these magazines on the floor. And that's it! That is all there was to this place. Okay! 
Alright, so uh, now what is next? Now we are actually going to be doing Curtain Call. Uh, there was so many of you that wanted to see that, that it makes the most sense, in my opinion, to do what you want to see. So I've decided that that's what we're going to do. Investigate the radio broadcast. I heard a radio broadcast by a man named Rex. He was begging to be rescued from super mutants who have taken him captive in Trinity Tower. And that's what we're going to do. Now, we're also going to be in the general vicinity of this. Clear the super mutants from Trinity Plaza. So I think I'll mark them both. Hopefully that won't get too confusing. Um, but uh, that's, that's going to be our, our two goals. So let's go ahead and warp over to Trinity Plaza now. Here we are at Trinity Plaza. And apparently... Huh. I actually thought it was just going to be in one area. Because... One of our objectives is over there in that tower, but the other one is in the church. Apparently Trinity Plaza is explicitly talking about the church. But, maybe we should do this first because it'll give us a little... I don't know... Practice? Because they're super mutants, right? And they're super mutants at both places? God, I don't know exactly what we're in for. Let me see, do I have anything to munch on quick? Give me... Nah, the blood leaf. Grilled rats? Nah, that's too much. Um... A noodle cup. Yeah. Got my ramen on. And now that I do, we're gonna go inside the Trinity Church. Are we ready? Do I have all my stuff on? <laughs> I'm really paranoid because I know we're gonna have one heck of a battle. Combat armor left arm. Da, 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 da. Huh. I'm losing out on some stuff here. Maybe this is better for now, to be honest. 8, 14, 10. And this is 9, 9. Maybe I should be wearing this. Huh. Yeah, I think I will put this back on. I think it increases my numbers a little bit... A little bit more. Now, when I mod this, it'll be better, but... Looks like this is actually probably better for now. Alright. Let's do it, Piper. Okay. So, this is a church. It can't be too terribly big. Super Mutant Brute. These guys are gigantic. They have a lot of uh, ballistics resistance, but less, by 20, energy resistance. Oh dear god. A legendary Super Mutant Skirmisher. Alright, so it looks like our best bet is probably Righteous Authority, because that's our energy weapon. Oh man. It's really hard to tell what we have in store. Um, the other thing is that uh, I've been throwing uh, frag, uh, frag grenades, but maybe... Aren't there, like... Yeah, there's pulse grenades. There's only one. <laughs> I have one. Eh, whatever. Maybe I'll just use regular grenades. Alright, let's just be very careful. God, there's a few of them. But it looks like energy weapons is definitely the way to go on these guys. Let's sneak around. Get a few shots in. We cannot actually go this way, which is upsetting. Turn around. We could also just order Piper to, like, go out there and deal with everything herself. But that would be a little rude. Is there not a way to get th through? This is creepy, man. I hope there's not going to be one in the bathroom. That'd ruin my day. No, they're just just bodies. Okay, the only problem that I'm seeing right now is that I actually don't know how to get to them. But let's just check this out. Anything in here? Besides some really gross toilets. Okay. Th from what I can tell, the only way into that room is through the front door. Which is terrifying to me. I opened the door. Be careful, Piper. Or go and do everything yourself, one of the two. So, we got a Super Mutant. Legendary Super Mutant Skirmisher. Super Mutant Brute. Who has a minigun? God. No matter how you slice this, this is not going to be easy. Um, the legendary guy is probably harder, even though he's a lower level. Jeez. Well, let's get to it. Surprise, honey! Get in there, Piper. Oh god. As long as as long as we're careful. We should be fine. Legendary enemy has mutated. Woo! 
Careful. Let's get on it, Grit Jones. Critical! Nice. They're shooting at me, but I'm shooting back. There is some gunfire going on in this church. Got one. What's the other one doing? That's right, Super Mutant. Oh, God. Woo! Okay, be careful. There's three enemies in there. So, there was a little more than I had actually even, even originally thought. Woo! Okay. He's gonna try and keep his distance, though. I'm gonna keep mine. Uh, No, let's go for the torso. Oh, jeez. Alright, we're gonna have to be very careful. Piper, are you doing okay in there? Possibly? Maybe I'll, hold on. Eat this and die. Oh, That'll help. A little bit. Does this work? I missed. That's not good. I was gonna say, keep an eye on your health, Grit Jones. That's a good way to get yourself killed trying to reload a missile launcher. Okay, careful. Now, if that guy walks up here, I'm gonna be toasted because there's no way... But I don't think he will. Careful! He's behind a thing! Shoot him in the arm! There we go, sneak attack somehow. Why I was hidden, I guess. Suddenly I oh I left danger and went to caution, so it counted as sneak damage. I don't understand why exactly, but that was nice. That's right, rotten hell! Still getting sneak damage on that guy. Once again, somehow. Gotcha, you son of a gun. You maybe... Ha okay, 48%... Ah, oh, son of a... Things are going my way right now, though. I did it! Piper, are you okay? Oh, I leveled up. Piper? I can smell you out there, little what? snake. Oh, my God. See, that was the big one, but that wasn't the only one in here. Dear God. All right, we still got some more guys, so, uh, stay frosty. Oh, come out, come out, wherever you are. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, it's dumb. It's falling. Shoot it! Kill it! Get its meat! Well, I almost killed it. But it didn't actually kill it. It's down there somewhere. Kill it, Piper. Will you do it? You do it. The Those things are actually really cool because, um... Someone had... What is this? Floral? Yeah, I'll take this. Someone told me, um... Someone told me in a, in a recent video that, uh... Those dogs, they actually, once you cook the meat, it remove. It, not only does it give you, um... Not to, not only does it restore your health, but it actually gives you... Where is this guy? It actually, um, takes away your rads, too. Are you down in that hole? Oh God! Piper. Okay, so that was um, that was interesting. We came over here, we did our thing. We dig around in the meat bag for stuff. I think everyone's dead now, though. I think we're officially good. The guy did not have much on him. Is there anything here? Uh, compensated metal right leg camera. Compensated advances? No. Burnt textbook. Oh, hello there. Astoundingly awesome tales. Is this the third comic book that we've gotten, or, or not necessarily comic book, but helpful book that we've yeah. gotten this episode? Do plus five percent damage against super mutants. Very cool. Wow. The the, the pastor was apparently standing back here shooting up with Psycho and reading comic books. Not a very good, not a very good pastor. Upper skull. Anything over here? I'm gonna turn this light on just so I can see it a little bit better. 
had quite a few people telling me, you know, you don't have to have a green tint. And I know, I know, I know that there's a way to adjust it where it's it's white. Um, but to be to be honest, uh, I prefer the green text, and you can't have it both ways. And I would rather have the green text. We don't have to use the flashlight a ton, um, so I'll just deal with it, and that's okay. So, um, the super mutants are hard. Yes. Uh, they are not the easiest thing to, uh, to deal with, but, you know, we're getting through it. Here's another combat shotgun. I don't know if that's better than the one I have or not, so I'm just gonna take it. And probably give it to Piper shortly. Is there anything in here? There's a lot of skulls. Because they really like skulls. That's like one of their favorite things. And you know what? It's good to have hobbies. It really is. Good for them. Good for them. There's a lot of blood. Uh, minigun. Which is just a normal minigun, and I think at this point I have... Maybe two of them, I don't know. I have at least one. They, give, they pretty much give you one right at the beginning of the game. Making some sort of stew. That's, uh... It's great. It's human stew. It's my favorite kind of stew. Can't get into that box, whatever it is. Got more burnt books. Alright, let's just double check around here. Hunter's Metal Right Arm. Reduces damage from animals by 15%. Very good, we want that. We'll have to deal with all of this stuff later. And when, that's one of the advantages of playing on hard, is that we are going to run into more of this, uh... Cool legendary equipment. All right, I don't know what's down here exactly. I don't think... You guys can let me know if I'm wrong, but I don't think that the, um... These guys are smart enough to set traps. Pretty sure they're kind of dumb. And, like, raiders will set traps, but, uh, super mutants won't. But I could be wrong on that, so if I'm wrong, let me know. There's a bunch of baby stuff over here. Got a little bear. Uh, a toy rocket ship. anything I can do to lighten the load? Or... Probably gonna give you something really soon, actually. A table knife! I just want the lunchbox. Because it makes me feel important. Toy car. What was that? Oh, there's a bobby pin box in there. Well, yeah, I'll take that. Oh, man, this place is... big. Like, far bigger than it looks from the outside. But I appreciate that, because there's actually quite a few things in here worth grabbing. And there's also a lot of... A whole lot of dead guys. Oh, hey, buddy! Can I have your meat? There was definitely two of you, though. Not really sure where the other one is. Alright, I think we explored down there... ...fairly adequately. It also looks like there's something upstairs. This building is a lot bigger... ...than uh, I originally thought. So we're up here in the balcony now. Some people dead. Uh, let's walk over. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, that is a door. Okay. Once again, continually impressed by how large this nice. place is. is there anything of interest in here? Yeah. Um, wow. A duffel bag. Recoil compensated powerful something. Pipe rifle. I, whatever it is, I don't want it. Uh, wine. Mentat Psycho. Wine. Bobby pin box. Super mutant wrist straps? Okay, large baby bottles. Wine, teddy bear. And then this thing. Muzzled hardened sniper rifle. Once again, they keep trying to give me free sniper rifles this episode, and I'm just I'm not having it. No, I don't need one. I've I've got Henry. Everything is fine. What's over here? Man, this place is so big! Like, from the outside, it just doesn't look as large as it is, but it's actually huge. Okay, now the only thing is, did I finish exploring at the very, very bottom? I think I did. Don't think I missed anything. I know I didn't look around every single direction. Yeah, that's what my thinking, too, Viper. It's so cool that they, uh, they actually comment on, you know, the, the specific things that you're doing, the specific places and, and stuff. Alright, I jumped back down here just one last time to check. I didn't technically go in this room. And, oh god, I would have missed free Radaway and Radex. Oh wait, there's something else back here. What is this? Oh, this, uh... Looks to me like maybe a choir room? Kinda looks like a choir room. Screwdriver. 
unfortunately it doesn't look like there's anything of interest in here, which is sad, but still nonetheless. Oh, and there's a hole cut into the wall. Hmm. Bobby pin box, an overdue book. Well, I guess it was good that I came back down here. I, did, I didn't look around entirely down here, so... Cool. Burnt book. And I think that's it. I think the the fun adventures of this place have ended. Right after I- God, it's so big! It's too big! How do I keep finding this crap? This is another overdue book. Okay, now we're done, right? We did it after I take this battered clipboard. I think we did it. I think we have all of the things. And uh, from what I can tell, there's actually another way to exit. Which sounds great to me. So let's head out this door. Okay, we're back out in the back bay. So that was... that's like a secret entrance into the church. Uh, we, we only have a few more minutes in the episode. But, uh, I, I said that we were going to start... ...doing, uh, curtain call, and we are. And I believe it starts by going in here. That's a whole lot of building. Yeah, well, prepare yourself, because that's what we're doing. Okay, got this. Hunting rifle skull. And I killed some of these guys... ...already. Hello! Check uh, This is looking good! Looking good so far! There's actually a lot of stuff to just take on this ground floor, so maybe we should take a moment to look around. Radioactive gland, ammo... Lou, come on! Let me carry something before you cripple yourself. Uh, Piper, where are you? Hey, come hey. here. What you got for me? Uh, literally anything, uh, but probably primarily junk. Can you just take all of this? Good enough. I'll just stop there. Keep looking around here. Skull faceplate. The heck is this thing? Well, oh, it's the. Oh, it's the frame for a car. Maybe I don't know. I'm not walking onto it. It looks like they made it into a bed. I think these are supposed to be beds, and they're very scary. <laughs> uh, rib cage. All right. Um, let's see that. Ultimately, I believe we have to go up these stairs. What? He is weak! Kill him! Um... Okay. Out of order. Out of order. So... That Rex guy was right. He is being held captive at the top of... This tower. Interesting. Um, we're actually out of time. And because I haven't technically started to go up the- okay. I'm finding a lot more Super Mutant stuff. Uh, because we haven't technically started to go up the tower yet, I think what I'm going to do instead is pop back over to Sanctuary and end the episode there, because it will give us a chance to actually grab Armor or two and upgrade a few things. So I went ahead and grabbed Armor or two, so I have that perk, and then I've been looking at what exactly I should be working on as far as armor goes. I've been told by a lot of you that combat armor is really fantastic, but... I don't know if it's as fantastic as you've said it is, and I just want you to explain so I can have some clarity. Now, the combat armor is well-rounded, and that much is true, absolutely. If you look at uh, this combat armor for the left arm, we can go back uh, down to the polymer combat armor, and it goes to 12 and 12, right? Pretty good. Now, if we go over to the other uh, left arm we have, which is a leather left arm, um, it's lead-lined, which just means that it has 10 radiation resistance. Um, so you can ignore that, but otherwise it's 8 and 14 right now. The biggest we can do is studded, which makes it 10 and 17. So 10 and 17 versus 12 and 12. I mean, yeah, the combat armor is even, you know, it's, it's more evenly distributed. You have the equal resistance from ballistics and energy, but clearly the leather is coming out on top by a considerable margin in energy. Something to consider, something to think about. Um, because even though combat armor is even, like, you're you're clearly getting a better deal, I think, from leather, which is odd. Now, if you, maybe if you just had, maybe there's, like, sturdy combat armor and heavy combat armor, and then it, maybe it would be better. But I'm not really sure. So the, the fact of the matter is, do I want to go with this? And, I mean, sure, I can. 12 and 12 is not bad. Um, I just feel like, you know, as far as this goes, like, I don't know, man. 10 and 17 is pretty dang good, even though you're losing two points on the 
on the ballistics, you're getting five points on the energy. So I think that might actually be a better deal. You guys can sound off in the comments. I'm going to take a look here and play around with some of these mods and see what I want to do. But otherwise, that's uh, that's going to be it for this episode. So thank you so much for uh, for watching. Tell me what you think about the armor. And next episode, we'll get started on Curtain Call. See you guys next time for more Steven Plays Fallout 4.